On Emancipation Day, Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre made landmark announcements that are set to transform the lives of thousands of St. Lucians. These include significant changes to the minimum wage and pension schemes, promising immediate and long-term benefits for workers and pensioners across St. Lucia. Our fathers would be proud if we can build a society of equity and justice. This is why, on this 1st August 2024, my government is implementing the first ever new minimum wage for the workers of this country, which is effective from 1st October 2024. No worker in this country will earn less than $1,130 a month of $52 daily or $6.52 per hour. 13,000 people are expected to benefit immediately with salary increases as a result of that policy. Prime Minister Pierre explained that while the new minimum wage was legally implemented on August 1, 2024, it will officially take effect on October 1st. This grace period allows employers the necessary time to put their affairs in order and comply with the new law, ensuring a smooth transition for all businesses. Come October 1st, employees will see the benefits of the minimum wage reflected in their salaries and wages. I want to encourage all employers to accept this act for greater equity in our society. There are whispers that some of, of you are planning to do otherwise. I want to discourage you from attempting to lay off workers instead of rewarding the, the years of hard work with this minimum wage. To do this would be to sow the seeds of discord, this disenchantment, and probably criminal activity which would be counterproductive for all of us in the long run. A contented workforce is a productive workforce. Beyond the minimum wage, the Prime Minister announced significant changes to the pension system, recognizing the contributions of St. Lucia's retirees. As of this day, 1st August, the monthly payment of all pensioners who have contributed so much to our development will increase to $725 monthly. No government pensioner will receive less than that amount. <clears throat> Likewise, no national insurance pensioner will receive less than $500 monthly, which amounts to an increase in payment for $3,438 pensioners from today. These increases will benefit over 3,000 pensioners, ensuring financial security for those who have contributed significantly to our nation's development. This is part of the government's broader commitment to equity and social justice. A productive workforce advances the development of the entire country. While we understand the profit motive of businesses, I want to appeal to you to give equal consideration to the welfare of your employees and your social responsibility to the wider community. Let us therefore all embrace this minimum wage in the spirit with which it is being implemented today, the spirit of emancipation from injustice. Prime Minister Pierre's announcements today reaffirm his administration's dedication to creating a fairer and more just society for all St. Lucians. These measures reflect a commitment to improving the quality of life for both workers and pensioners, ensuring that the sacrifices of our ancestors continue to pave the way for a brighter future.